Hey guys, we are back with another video tutorial and this time we'll show you how to find your bad backlinks and then disavow them using monitor backlinks. Without any further ado, here's how to get started. On the backlinks page, you can see a list with all the websites that are linking to you. Do consider that we don't show site-wide backlinks because we want to avoid noise. As a side note, if you need, you can also import your backlinks from other sources, including Google Webmaster Tools. To help you determine if a link is good or bad, you can analyze and filter your backlinks using the SEO metrics provided. First, let me tell you a little bit about the metrics available, and then I'll show you how to filter the backlinks to find the bad ones. On the first column, you have the date when the link was created. Next, you can see the page that's linking to your website and also the anchor text. Below the anchor text, we extract the category of the website and show you if it's relevant to your niche or not. A good backlink will always come from relevant websites in your industry. If the link is unrelated and has nothing to do with your niche, the backlink might be bad. Nonetheless, never judge the quality of a backlink just by analyzing a single metric. Always have a look at the other metrics and then review the backlink manually. Moving on, we have the landing page. Followed by one of the most important metrics that indicates if the link is working and if it's influencing your ranking in Google. Links with an OK status are do follow and Google will count them. On the other side, no follow links are ignored by Google, so they will not have any impact on your SEO. In most cases, when trying to identify your bad or good backlinks for SEO, you'll have to look for the links that are do follow. Below, you can see the Google index status for your backlink. A green icon indicates that the domain and page is already indexed, and in this case, it will impact SEO. A yellow icon shows that the domain is indexed, but the page is not. This can happen often when the page is new and Google has not yet had time to crawl it. A red icon indicates that the domain linking to you is not indexed in Google's results. When this happens, in almost every case, the website is penalized. The worst backlinks you can have are links from websites that have been penalized by Google. So when you see links from such domains, you should first try to delete them and then disavow the whole domain. Continuing with the other metrics, you can see the spam score by Moz. On a scale from 0 to 17, this indicates how likely it is that the website linking to you to be flagged as spam. In general, sites with a spam score below 5 should not raise any concerns. If a link has a higher spam score, you'll have to check the other metrics and determine if the link is indeed bad. The next columns will show you the trust flow and citation flow by Majestic. The higher the trust and citation flow, the more valuable the link will be. Sites with a trust flow below 20 can raise questions, but it doesn't necessarily mean the link is bad. Next, you have the Moz rank, domain authority and page authority. Along with the trust and citation flow, these are the most important SEO metrics to analyze. The backlinks that have low metrics are potentially bad and have to be checked manually. The TLD slash IP column can be useful if you are doing local SEO and you want to have most of the links from a specific domain extension. Next to the IP location, for some links, you'll see a number on a red background. This indicates that you have multiple backlinks from the same hosting IP. This happens often with backlinks from blog networks. And as you probably already know, links from blog networks are not recommended. If you click on this number, you'll see all the links posted by the same IP. On the social media column, you'll see how popular is the page linking to your site. Then you have the metric indicating the number of external backlinks. The more external links a page has, the lesser value it will have for SEO. Pages with more than 100 external links can be a threat for your rankings and you should review them manually. Last but not least, we have the referral traffic for each backlink. This feature works only if you have connected your domain with Google Analytics. A good backlink is even better when it sends traffic to your site. 
No matter if the link is do follow or no follow, as long as it sends relevant traffic, in most cases, the link is worth keeping. Now that you have familiarized yourself with the metrics we provide, here's how you can sort the backlinks to find the ones that are hurting your rankings in Google. On the top right side, there's a button called Filters. You can sort your links as you wish, but I will show you some of my favorite ways to find bad backlinks. The first method I often use is to select only the links with an OK status, because I want to see the backlinks that Google considers. I will also choose to see the links with a trust flow below 10. And because the list still has more than 1,000 backlinks, I'll choose to view the links with a spam score higher than 5. To narrow down the list even further, I'll also filter the links by their domain authority. A domain authority lower than 20 is usually enough, but if you have more backlinks, you can go lower and choose to see those with a domain authority lower than 10. So does this mean all these backlinks are bad? No, absolutely not. Just because a website has poor metrics, it doesn't automatically mean that a backlink is bad and you have to remove it. There is no automated way to tell if a backlink is good or bad. Now that we have reduced the number of potentially bad links, we'll also sort them by the number of traffic they have sent by clicking here. You can click twice to see the links with the smaller value first. Okay, great. You have this list, so now what do you do? It's time to take each link one by one and analyze if the link is good or bad. In general, a good link is from a relevant website and it provides value to the reader. If the link is from a spammy website and doesn't offer anything to the user, it's bad. Let's check some random examples. I'll analyze the third backlink. The link is do follow and the page is indexed, so it's clearly influencing our ranking in Google. The spam score is 6 out of 17, and the trust flow is low. Domain authority is 19, which is not necessarily bad. Looks like the page is popular on social media, although it hasn't sent any traffic to our website. With more than 100 external links, everything indicates that this backlink is bad. But before taking conclusions, I'll review the website by quickly looking at it. In a glance, you can see that the website has nothing to do with our SEO tool. A link from such a page makes no sense. Our link on this page would not help their readers, so we'll try to remove it, especially considering that everything indicates that the website is not very good for SEO. The next link I'll analyze is called directoryseofree.com. Just by its name, I can tell you that this is a link from a directory, something Google doesn't endorse. The trust flow is extremely low and the domain authority as well. A quick look at the site shows me that this is a page with very little content, and Google will not like the fact that we have such a backlink. This is another example of a link that we should remove and disavow. Once identified a bad backlink that you want to disavow, you can add it to your disavow list from Monitor Backlinks. Click on this icon and select Disavow Domain. It's best to disavow the whole domain to make sure Google knows you don't want these links to be considered. After disavowing your bad links, you'll see how they will be highlighted in red. To find all the links you have disavowed, you can go to Filters and click on Disavowed. With Monitor Backlinks, you can easily generate a report with all your bad links and then submit it to the Google Disavow tool. To export this report, go to the Disavow page and then click on the large button, Export. If you just started using Monitor Backlinks, but you already have a disavow report, you can import your previously disavowed links using the Upload feature. Going back to the links page, you can also tag your backlinks and group them. Click on the Settings icon again, and then on Edit. You can add any tag you wish, and then find it using the Filters option. For example, you can tag the links for which you have sent a removal request. Monitor Backlinks automatically checks the status of all your backlinks, and if the link is removed, you'll be informed and see the status changing from OK or No Follow to Backlink Not Found. My favorite way to find bad links, where there's little doubt the link is bad, 
is to sort them only by their Google Index status. Click on Filters, Google Index, and then on Domain Not Index. Most of these links are bad, and as I've mentioned earlier, most likely they are penalized by Google. After a closer review, you should be able to decide if they are worth keeping or not. You can play with the filters according to your needs and find all the bad backlinks, but also ones that are good so you can build more. To disavow multiple links at once, select them and click on With Selected, Disavow Domains. There's one last thing I want to show you on the Reports page. Here, you can customize the graphic charts by applying filters and see how your backlinks profile looks without the disavowed links. Or you can see reports with all the links you have disavowed. The reports page can come in very handy if you are dealing with a Google penalty, and you can see how natural your links profile looks. That's it. We hope that our tips will help you use Monitor Backlinks better and get rid of all the nasty backlinks that are a potential threat for your rankings in Google. You can find more tutorials on our blog, and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Good luck with SEO!